I'm curious about the pushback that some of your scientists were getting from their universities. Was that related to perhaps fertilizer companies that contribute money? This I will say. In 2014, Secretary of the USDA Vilsack, first round for him, came to ASU and there was four faculty members that were asked to present to him. I was the junior, so everyone talked too long, and I got four minutes. I described this project in four minutes, and he was flipped out by the prospect of it. He liked it a lot. And I said, yeah, but no one's really done this research before. And he, and he said, do you know why? I said, tell me. He goes, because of all the big companies that fund research at big ag universities don't see profit in this. So that's what he said to me mm -hmm. that day. That with Teague, he was attacked for decades. Yeah, yeah and, and he was from... A&M. Uh, a yeah, Texas A&M. Yeah. He had faculty members who did not like him, did not like what he was talking about. And he had an offer to all of his faculty colleagues, throw a dart at the United States, and within 50 miles of that, I'll find an adaptive rancher for you to go visit, and I'll pay you to do it. And he never got anyone to say yes to that offer. So he had real pushback. But I'd also say welcome to science, all right? Ask an astrophysicist when they get challenged on, I mean, you should see the literature on the quantum theory when it came out. 